Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and today I will give you a brief overview and demonstration of Click application automation. In this video, I will answer the following questions. What is Click application automation? Who is it for and why do you need it? And how is it used? Let's jump right in. What is Click application automation? Click application automation is part of our Active Intelligence vision, which delivers in-the-moment awareness about every aspect of your business and helps you drive immediate actions. To that point, Click Application Automation lets you visually assemble flows that work with market-leading SaaS applications to invoke downstream processes that react to changes in your business. Consequently, you spend less time programming back-office workflows and more time driving insights. Who is it for and why do you need it? Click application automation can be used by analytics application developers, data engineers, and systems integrators to automate many of their day-to-day -day analytics development and administration tasks. How is it used? Let's cover some of the use cases for click application automation. Driving insights to action. We've mentioned this already, but you can use Click Application Automation to initiate actions not only in response to business events, but also by directly triggering other downstream processes. Automations can be manually started, run on a schedule, initiated from an API, or called by an application event. Simplify software as a service integrations. You can use Click Application Automation to connect to market-leading SaaS applications such as Salesforce, Slack, and Microsoft Teams, and integrate those systems in a business process without the need to understand their low-level APIs. Just drag and drop the smart blocks to build your workflow logic. Currently, we support over 30 connectors with more being released every month. Increase Analytics DevOps Productivity Click Application Automation allows you to orchestrate your tenant administration and application development tasks. You can create flows that perform app reloads and task chaining, provision spaces, or add new measures to groups of apps. You can also send app reload statuses to your coworkers via Slack or Microsoft Teams, and much, much more. Let's dive into a brief example of one of these use cases and see how Click Application Automation can automate a time-consuming Salesforce-related task. So let's say I'm a sales operation manager, and I use this sales pipeline analysis analytics application in ClickCloud to review account health, opportunity status, and measure customer engagement with our marketing campaigns. On this details page, I have a table listing out opportunities by stage, alongside Marketo scores and Hug ranks. In my sales reviews, I've noticed there are a number of accounts in champion stage with higher than average Marketo scores, but lower than average hug ranks. When I see this pattern, my typical behavior is to switch to my Salesforce tab and create new tasks for account managers to contact customers. Performing this activity is very tedious, involves a lot of manual work, and once I create the tasks, I need to send an email to the reps to tell them to go into Salesforce and take action on these new tasks. Let's create a new Click App Automation to automate this manual task. Directly from my ClickSense Hub, I can add a new automation. Let's give it a name and begin. You will see a design canvas in the center where I can build my orchestration or flow, along with smart connectors and flow control blocks on the left, and a properties panel on the right. Here we are going to turn insights into action without any code demonstrating what we call active intelligence. First, we configure the start block to kick off this automation based off an event. Using a ClickCloud webhook, we can monitor an event such as a ClickSense app reload. Since Click App Automation has native ClickCloud integration, we can connect directly to our ClickSense tenant and reference the ClickSense app we want this automation to use, such as our Sales Analysis Pipeline app I showed you earlier. Now we can configure this block to select a value from a field, in this case where stage is equal to champion, just like we did manually earlier. 
Next, we can pull in the data that is loaded from one of the ClickSense chart objects. In this case, that same detail table. We can now reference the app and the sheet where the object is and pull in the opportunity details table data. As you can see, I'm just selecting values to fill in the parameters. We then can take a conditional block to control the flow of our automation and have it check a value of a specific field from that table. In this case, the Marketo score. We can specify a comparison operator to see if it is greater than or equal to 100, and then add another condition for hug rank, seeing if it is less than 15. From the list of connectors, I choose Salesforce, and I see a variety of operations I can perform. In this case, I want to create a task record in Salesforce, so I select API Create Record. Now this Salesforce connector block has a number of parameters to fill in that will create a task record, so I will configure this appropriately. I also want to notify my Teams channel of this new task to review, so I will send a hero card message to the channel using our Microsoft Teams integration. Next, we can kick off this automation each time that ClickSense app reloads. In this multi-screen view, you can see each of the processes happening. The ClickSense app reload, the app automation processing, the Microsoft Teams notification, and the Salesforce task record created. Now that is what I call active intelligence. There is absolutely no question that Click Application Automation provides a visual, no-code solution that optimizes your analytics processes and achieves active intelligence. For more information about Click Application Automation and to view more in-depth companion videos on this innovative capability, see the links where this video was posted and visit click.com slash application automation. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.